What's going on everybody? I'm Michael. And I'm Justina, and I don't know if you could see, but this is our baby brew. Um, so we read the book of Judges chapter three. This is where we first see the two, the first two judges raised up, Othniel and Ehud. Ehud. Yeah. And um, Ehud is the one that is, if you don't remember, plunged the sword into the obese king's belly and the sword was completely swallowed up this in is his that, fat. This is that chapter. <laughs> That's where we're at in the Bible. Yes. Um, so here are just kind of what stood out to us. Yeah. So the first the first word that stood out to us was the word tested. Um, and it is that the, the, the Lord was intentionally testing the Israelites um, to see if they would walk in obedience with the Lord's commandments, um, and they did not. Um, and so basically what happened was the Lord surrounded them with other gods, with other nations, um, who served other gods as a test. Um, and then the Bible says that they gave in to those gods, started to serve those other gods, um, and they angered the Lord, so he gave them over to be, um, uh, what's the word? I'm not delivered. The opposite of delivered. Suffering. He gave yes. them over to suffering, he oppression, gave, bondage. He, there we go. Those are the words. He gave them <laughs> over to bondage and suffering and oppression. Oppression is the word. Um, and this happened twice. And then they cried out to God. Um, God sent them a deliverer. Uh, they lived in peace for 40 years. And the same cycle happened again. They forgot about God. They stopped obeying his commandments. God handed them over. Uh, they were in suffering and bondage. They cried out again. God raised up a new deliverer for them, another yep. judge, um, and so on and so forth. And so Until the judges died. And then the cycle would repeat itself. Yeah. And so here's what's fascinating is I we, we both agree that that's the same thing that happens today. Yeah. Uh, we live in a culture where we are surrounded by other gods, um, idols, other cultures, idols, things that are in direct opposition to what God says. Yeah. Um, a few things that jump out of my mind, I pick up this binky for the baby. A um, few things that come to my mind. So we just went through June, right? Uh, Pride month, um, the LGBTQ community, they serve another God. Um, sex, culture, politics, new age. There's all these are, are different examples of the idols and gods that we're surrounded by that we are being tested with to see if we're gonna obey the Lord or if we're gonna obey another God. Um, and so here's the deal is we can learn something really strong from this. And it is that uh, God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. We know this to be true. Uh, and because that's true, God works the same way as you guys. And so if, and I've found myself in this situation before too, where if you begin to have an idol, there are serious consequences to those actions. And that looks like spiritual bondage, the same way the Israelites got put into bondage and then they cried out for a deliverer. It's the same thing today. If we start to follow another ideology, we start to follow another God, and God becomes not number one, but whatever else he is, something else becomes number one. There's serious consequences to those, to those actions, um, and that looks like spiritual bondage. Mm. But Judges teaches us there's hope. Yeah, There is hope, and this is where I wanna kick it over to my wife because this is a parallel of what Jesus is for us. Yeah. Yeah, so the theme throughout Judges, if you haven't gathered by now, is just this vicious cycle of the Israelites are giving into culture, their idols and sin, and then they cry out for deliverance, and then God gives them a deliverer. Yeah. And then they experience peace for however many years. With Othniel, it was 40 years. With Ahid, it was 80 years until they died. And then it happens again. And so basically the theme that we see here is we need a deliverer that won't die. And so yeah. we actually are in a different position than the Israelites were in that time that we actually have a deliverer who can't die and, yeah. and we have his Holy Spirit. <laughs> yeah. So while we definitely experience um, still being tempted to be just still oppression by culture when we give in and when we um, uh, submit to culture around us, we do actually have the Holy Spirit this time. And so um, what was happening is is um, it said the Israelites, they forgot their God. And that, that doesn't mean that they literally forgot who God was, but that they stopped remembering him, that they knew about God and knew what he wanted. They knew what he cared about, knew what his commands were, but they, it wasn't, they forgot him in their hearts. And that's why they kept giving into sin, giving into sin, and then in turn experiencing that suffering. Mm -hmm. um, and so I, that really resonated with me because I feel like I can at times, forget God, um, where I know in my head, I know what he cares about. I know, I know God, I know about him, but then my heart can kind of grow cold and then I can go days, uh, not spending time with him and just forgetting him. 
And um, just to wrap it up, basically, <laughs> is the difference is they had deliverers that would help deliver them. And then when those deliverers died, they forgot again. And we don't have to continue to forget because we have the Holy Spirit yeah, because, because of what Jesus did. Amen. And so, lastly, let me jump yeah, in go here. Ahead. Joel, Joel 232 <laughs> foreshadows a time when yeah. we will have a deliverer. And, and, it, and it prophesies to Jesus saying, anybody who calls in the name of the Lord shall be delivered. And that's our hope. Um, so if you've gotten yourself into some deep doo-doo, like we have, you know what I mean? From time to time, seriously. I mean, we all, we all have, we have a deliverer. We can cry out and be delivered. Or if you just feel like you're in that place where, wow, like I have forgotten God, where it's like, you know, I go to church. I still think about him. It's not that I've literally forgotten him, but in my heart, I think my heart, it's not become, he doesn't seem real. Like I can taste him and see him and feel him constantly. Um, you know, we have a deliverer. We have someone we can immediately cry out to and remember. Yeah. Yeah. So, all right, you guys, yep. thank you so much for listening. Have a blessed day.